Hey, hey, he's got the tripod. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oliver and my name is Kristen, in case you didn't know that. And we are going to go on a walk. A walk? Emmy, you wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk? <laughs> We're gonna go on a walk right now. We're gonna take our dog to go play down in this little gated area in our community. Okay, so I got a dog in my right hand and then I'm pushing in with my left. I feel like I never really share about my stroller. I, I don't think I've ever really shared about it, but we have the Upper Baby Vista and it's a pretty pricey stroller, but we love it so much. Um, it can turn into a double, so, and there's a bunch of configurations. Here, let me put the brake on so you can put adapters down here and there's a bottom seat and then a top seat and you can turn this around to face you and um, you can also put like a skateboard so technically you can have like three kids on this and yeah you can put like different car seats they attach to the adapters and stuff like that and then I like how this handlebar let me see and it's just really smooth. The tires are really big so they can like go on grass and whatnot. And you know, it's just really comfy. Okay, sorry, Emmy's pulling my arm. And this is the hand that I'm holding her leash with. So we're down at our little community right now, um, a little community center. And I just wanted to take a quick, quick picture of them. <gasps> because you're just the cutest and they can't stop taking pictures of you. And just look at these toes. Hey, are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? He's so ticklish on his feet. All right, so this is where we're gonna play right now. It's very beautiful. Okay, ready? Go get it. <laughs> a happy dog is a tired dog, right? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> you need, he's just gonna hang out here. He loves watching the trees and he just loves being outside. So it's perfect. Okay, we're just back from our walk. Emmy's eating and Oliver's playing right here. I discovered a brand that has tons of different products that are all vegan, cruelty-free, certified organic, and like just really good quality. Um, and I got their protein powder and I've been su supplementing one meal a day with a protein shake and I'll do a scoop and a half or two scoops, that's what they recommend, of this, some almond milk and then some Greek yogurt. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of peanut butter or spinach or berries and it supplements a meal for you. Um, and for me, that's just like awesome because in the morning for breakfast, like I can do it with one hand while holding him if I need to. And then another thing that I ordered from them, like food like product wise, is this greens balance powder. And it's a full serving of your fruits and vegetables and um, it's just in a powder form and it's kind of like a matcha-y, earthy like flavor. It's definitely not the best like, but you can just put it inside your shake and you like hardly taste it. But I like to just shoot it back with some water and you get a serving of your fruits and vegetables and it helps with like your gut health and it helps with your immune system. And so um, I'm gonna link this below you can like shop it through like I'll just link it um but I need to show you the other stuff that I got because they have like makeup products skincare products I have been obsessed with their tanning lotion because it's safe to use while you're breastfeeding and pregnant and a lot of the tanning lotions aren't so um I have it on right now and like it's just like a nice subtle bronze um because I'm very pale and then I actually did like a little test like swab on my stomach to see how much it actually works. I have it on my legs right now too. And I just, I don't know, I just like don't like being pale and I don't like laying out. And then I couldn't find a tanner that wasn't like extremely expensive and clean. So this has, this company has an awesome one. And their body lotion is just like, I'll order that for the rest of my life. It is amazing, I love the body lotion. And then also I have their mascara on right now and it's just like, it's really hard to find non-toxic clean products that you can trust. Um, so yeah, I'll link it below. Like literally shop everything, their hand creams, their makeup, their protein, their everything is awesome. But just wanted to share that. Okay, now we're in Oliver's playroom and we're just gonna have some intentional playtime. And I kinda wanna record it for my own memories of like, 
I can show him one day like this is how we played together like I don't have any memories like that with my mom so that's what we're gonna do crazy this kid is now. Whoa! Good job! Go down on your booty. Yay! Oh, and you see someone out the window. That noise scared me. Okay, if you have a baby at home right now, and if you have like a Google or if you have Spotify, tell Google to play Crazy Frog Axel F song and then have a dance party with your baby and tell me if they like it <laughs> because every single baby that I've showed this song to they just love it. Let me see if I can show you how Oliver reacts. Google play Crazy Frog Axel F song. Okay, Axel F by Crazy Frog. Here it is on Spotify. Okay, here it goes. Bing, bing, bang, dong, 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 dong. I just put Oliver down for a nap and I have to share because um, for like a week or a week and a half we were struggling so hard to get Oliver to nap and he would cry and just fight it and even when we were holding him he was fighting it and then we'd end up just I'd end up like nursing him to sleep or like holding him while he slept and for like a mom I feel like that's so exhausting because you want to be able to like sit down or like clean or like eat something and so we stretch, started stretching his wake windows and um, literally right now he just fell asleep without making a noise. I just laid him down awake and he just like was like so tired he just passed out. Which might seem like common sense but um, I don't know sometimes they just like change and so if you're struggling with naps and stuff try stretching the wake window and just like what I did is like I waited for him to get really tired at like the three hour mark. And then I just held him and kind of walked around and picked up stuff around the house. And then like when his head started like falling against me, then I was like, okay. So I went in and I just laid him down really gently and he fell asleep. So um, that just worked for us. So I hope if you're struggling with the same thing that that would work for you. Because I know how just stressful and like frustrating it is when you're like, just go to sleep. <laughs> and they don't want to. And you're like, why aren't you tired? You should be tired. But yeah, so... Hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, now I'm just cooking some breakfast. I'm making an egg and then now some granola and yogurt and I'm gonna empty my dishwasher and just pray that he naps longer than 30 minutes because that's what he was doing before. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up. Okay, so Oliver's awake from his nap now, and I think we don't really watch TV that much at our house, like, um, we don't really have it on that much, 
But right now we just are gonna watch Peter Pan for a little bit because it just sounds cozy. I'll just cuddle while he's still sleepy. Hmm. Sometimes it's just fun to cuddle and watch a movie. It's actually been a week since I filmed the video that you just watched and the reason that it cuts off shortly is because um, literally like right after I stopped filming, um, we got some really bad news that one of Shane's closest friends actually took his own life and um, it's just been a devastating week and like a very shocking week just to process everything, um, to process loss, to um, like figure out how to be there for other people that are grieving him, especially like he has a wife and two kids and um, it's just been like a really sad, a, a sad week and um, the reason that I wanted to just like talk about it is like uh, life isn't always happy and games and fun and um, you're not alone if you're going through hard times and I hope that if you are that you have other people to turn to. Um, if not, I'm, I'm always open to talking. It's hard to make that connection over the internet, but I just want you to know that like, I am a listening ear if you need one. Um, but I'm gonna try and find, there's a GoFundMe to try and support his wife and, and just help financially. But if you could just pray, it's just a really bad situation. Um, and yeah, so, I stopped filming and I didn't um, close out the video and this is why but I just wanted to post what I got beforehand but yeah thank you for watching and that's it.